Tanya and Marlo. Hey, Monty, how are those nephews of yours doing? Nephews are good, and they're ready for school to start back. Can you believe it? Are you teaching them from home these days? We're homeschooling, so it's a full shift. Wow. Hey, Tanya. Nice to ever see you, Andy. No more run-ins with the cookie lady, right? No. I did bake some Pillsbury cookies, though, the other day. Oh, nice. Too much titties in the way. Oh, and we got Nene back. Welcome back, Nene. I had to go pee and change my tampon. <laughs> Good job. All right, well, Candy, this season you took over the vacant role of the resident bone collector. And your dedication to spilling the tea <laughs> landed you the nickname KMZ. Watch. You know what I call you? KMZ. Yes. KMZ is everything. I saw Nene, oh, by the way. Oh, really? Somebody that y'all have as a mutual friend recorded you dogging her out. Bitch. Tanya, she said, I have a little tea of my own. She just had your wig with oh. her. Oh! <laughs> if I want to put a wig out of my ass, what does it matter? <laughs> Portia told her that you basically said that you didn't bring your kids to the party because you didn't know about Kenya's energy. And she's like, well, you know, I don't really know Kenya like that. That is some bullshit. Portia might want to stay all the way up out my business. She still got her C-section healing. She over here worried about somebody else's babies. Baby, Dennis with a bow. <laughs> and I can forward her a lot of these blogs so she can mind that business. That was definitely not what I said. So Candy's a liar? No, so she's I'm not. making it up. Really I did not say anything about forwarding a blog. As busy as Candy is, why she spends time stirring the pot, I don't know. She is what we call a class A instigator. <laughs> Candy Giannis from Tbilisi, Georgia said, why did you decide to become the bone collector this season? No one liked it when Sheree was the bone collector. I don't think it was intentional. <laughs> I just think that when, during the season, I pretty much, you know, got along with everybody. And so when you are able to, you know, be in conversations with everybody, it's kind of awkward if you do say something, then you KMZ, you salt bay. If you don't say something, then it's like, oh, why you didn't say something? So it's just like a weird spot to be in. Uh, Carmela from Texas said, Eva, after Candy told you Portia was the one who spilled the tea to Kenya, you started talking about her C-section scar and Which forwarding her blogs and even called PJ Dennis with a bow. Why didn't you just have a conversation with her before becoming so shady? First of all, I found myself very upset to know that Portia went back and said whatever she said to Kenya. I 100% forgot what I said. It is what it is. Now, let me tell you something about this raggedy asshole down at the bottom, okay? <laughs> These bottom barrel okay. bitches. You help bottom barrel bitches and they turn around and do the right. most low down. No one has they ever turn around and do the most low down thing possible. Right. We're just talking about somebody's child. No one talks about your child. Nene right. said your child right. looks like Dennis five times. She does. Right. My son looks like her right. father. The question is, why are you bothered? First of all, I will never forgive you, okay, for ever speaking on my child. You hear that? <laughs> do you see me? Do you hear yes. what I am saying? I never I spoke on your child. You did. Let me tell you something. When Whenever you are coming for me in my C-section, like thousands of women have not had a <laughs> C-section, trust me, you coming for me. I didn't come for you. You came really? for me That's what you're bringing gonna do? my name into a storyline you for yourself, for yourself that day. Because let me tell you how I will whop you You're the one that brought my name up first. My you don't come line. up and tell me how to pop trust. back she cool. here, trust. pampered don't by ever, Portia. Don't tell me how to bounce. Child again. You gonna say she look like Dennis with a bow? Baby, your baby is a clone with a bib. Eva, are you saying you didn't mean it as a read? I made that as a read to you. you I can't never read. at any point oh, was disrespecting Eva, it child. doesn't sound great. If you're reading Thank her and you, you say it as part of the read, Thank it you. doesn't sound great. She does look like Dennis with a bow. And you look like Where's a thumb the line? with lips on it, with black okay. lipstick. Shut uh, the Where's the line? Up. You say it one more time, and I will virtually kick your ass. Eva, you got a lot of... Um, Feedback from viewers about your comment about little nappy heads. I am not here for this sh with these little nappy heads this year. Carlos from Fort Lauderdale, Florida said, what made you think it was okay for you to say? First and foremost, I am a black woman. And one cannot tell me how to speak about the culture that I am in. 
No one in this group has said any of those colloquialisms that we use within our community on or off camera. Eva, but here, here is the, the problem with that. You being a light-skinned woman with straight, quote-unquote, straight hair and light eyes and as gorgeous as they come, it's difficult for a woman that is like me, that is brown like me, who has textured hair like me, accept that as it not being offensive. So I, I don't think you meant it in an offensive way. I, I just think you have to be more that, sensitive to I, it. You, I'm just, I'm not here for it any of them ways. coming from me. You have to be sensitive to, to making remarks like that. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Stay tuned for more reunion action after this.